Now, you almost didn't do this movie. I wasn't going to do it. Uh, you obviously would have been quite gutted if you had seen the movie and it's so great, and you were like, damn, I could have... I knew the movie was going to be really good. The part that I was going to do, he couldn't get the rights to the man he wanted to tell a story through, so he made a character up that was a combination of three people, and it read like that. And I said, I, I, I can't play this, it's a little too schizophrenic, without explaining why it's schizophrenic, because I don't mind playing that. I've certainly played, you know, serial killers and other kind of things, so that doesn't scare me off. But unless it's serving the story, or if that has something to do with the story, it didn't. And so I said, look, I think the movie's going to be sensational, but this part is not living up to the rest of the movie. And uh, he said, well, I couldn't get the rights. I said, well, at least I'm not an idiot. I could tell something was wrong. And so, it's not the film, Costner, it's yeah, you. Yeah, and so I said, you know, and I don't want to go on things with a pride of authorship that it's got to be yeah. fit me. I don't do that. But in this case, it didn't speak to me at all. But he said, I've given this the least amount of time. We can work on it. And he said he would, and he was, but he was true to his word. So Ted did a fabulous job. Everybody's talking about the amazing performances of the, the three lead women in this. Who do you think gives the best performance in the movie? You can pick yourself if yeah, you think well, you, you nail it. You, but you know, movies are, are, there's an architecture in a movie. And and really, um, the, the, the great movies make sure that all the sub characters are performing well. Mm. And certainly Dorothy, and 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 uh, and 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 oh, I'm dropping the names now. Could we make this movie a year ago? But certainly the other two women have really good parts. I have a very good part, um, and I'm there to support the movie. But it's really built around Catherine. Mm. But the careful screenplay means everybody that appears uh, has high levels of contribution. Now, you're a musician, as, as well as many other things. Pharrell produced this and con contributed music to this as well. Did you guys ever have a little chat about maybe collaborating and doing music together? No, I'm not in the class of Pharrell. I play, you know, rock and roll in a band, uh, you know, and, and my contributions are what they are. But he's in, a, 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 he's in another class, and he's, a, you know, um, He's a, a devoted musician. I'm a, a part-time musician. <laughs> and finally, Talk of the Bodyguard remake continues. It's been years since that project was first sort of uh, discussed. Would you consider, if it happens, making a cameo? No, I don't, I don't. I don't. I doubt that I would do that. I mean, if they wanted to find that my character later on and where he was at and what he was doing, that might be something. But I wouldn't be interested in duplicating that. Um, I don't believe um, as some kind of little uh, little novelty piece. I, I don't like to be used that way. But you know what? I, I will read anything, and if it made sense and it was, was really good, I, I might reconsider. But on the surface, talking about that, that doesn't appeal to me. Hi. Oh my God. Hey. Hey. Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Hi. I'll just leave it at that. I wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lipstick on your teeth.